So I recently made a UV curing box to set the clear coat on the lures that I make. So now that I have UV clear coat and a light box, I need a rotisserie to be able to turn the lures to get rid of the brush strokes. So today that's what I'm going to be making. So this build ended up costing me around $25 and a couple pieces of scrap wood. If you have some scrap wood laying around, really all you need to buy is this 3 RPM motor. For this I used a disco motor and I also bought some clips to be able to hold on the lures. I'll put the links to everything I use in today's video including the motor and also the clips I use down in the description below. This is definitely not my finest piece of craftsmanship but I think it will definitely do the job and hopefully you guys watching will get some ideas from what I did. About a year ago now, I tried to make my own form of rotisserie or turner, and what I used for that was a hand drill that I used to plug in and I made a stand for it. And it worked pretty well, but it was kind of janky and hard uh, to make it consistent and spin at a good pace. So I thought it would be a good idea to remake it and try a new one. I cut another board because that other one was way too hard to work with. So now I have all three boards cut and I'm going to now install this one. I'm just going to screw some screws through the back of it and into this board. Make sure that's all good and in place. And then I'm going to work on this one to see what height and also where I want the hole for uh, allowing that rod in the middle to be able to rotate. So I have one side installed right there and I'll probably end up adding some supports to that just to make sure that's sturdy. But I just had two screws to the bottom there. And now I drilled a hole here for uh, where I think I'm going to try to align where the rod will go, uh, connect it to the motor, and then I'm going to use this bit here to drill out that hole, try to get it as big as I can, and then uh, we'll use the lathe to be able to smooth down the one end of the rod to make it fit in there and allow it to have a good rotation. So the board's 20 inches like I initially cut it, and then the motor will probably come off about 2 inches. So the dowel, I'm going to make 18 inches, and probably the end inch or two, I'm going to round off to be able to fit in this hole here. So I was originally going to use the lathe, but that's not working right now. So I ended up using the Dremel and smoothed off this end here. And really all I need to do is turn in that hole that we made. And that's looking pretty good. So now we're going to figure out how to attach it to the motor. I actually got the idea to use this disco ball motor by Baker Builds. I was watching his video and his explanation of how he made his lure turner. So I'm going to put his channel link down in the description below. And you can go check him out. But basically that's where I got this idea. And now I'm going to try to figure out how to uh, install this into the rod that we made and i think i'm just gonna drill a hole through the rod and then hopefully thread some uh wire through that hole there and hopefully it ended up working pretty good the way i installed this rod here is by just putting a wire through a hole that i drilled and there was a hole already in uh the part of the motor that stuck out so that worked really well i just thread it through there and that'll hold it in place there's not going to be a bunch of uh, speed or pressure with this motor really, so this will hold it in place just fine. Next step is to add some of these clips here, and all I'm going to do is trim, trim them a little shorter, and then drill a hole into the rod that I made, and then install them. I'm actually going to save the tag ends of these clips, so that way I can use them for pins when I make another lure with hinge joints. So after cutting off all the ends of those clips there, 
All I did was install it with some baking soda and super glue, and I actually plan on cleaning that up a little bit more in the future because it is a uh, it doesn't look the cleanest. But that's no worries. That's just a little touch up that I could do, and uh, I also end up installing this as well, obviously. So uh, it's looking really good. So overall, I think it ended up pretty good. And if you're planning on making something like this, it really is a simple process and anybody could do it. I'm sure there's many other ways to make a product like this, but this was my way of doing it. But anyway, that is the finished up lure turn. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.